At Max's request, we're making something really stupid today. And it better be good or it's the last time I make him happy by making something stupid. So we're talking this morning and Max goes, hey, I got an idea for an episode. And I go, what? He goes, I'll send you the link. And it's a TikTok link to a lady that used oh God, lime flavored flaming hot Cheetos in Kraft macaroni and cheese. The kind of gross part is that while she's making the Mac, she takes these and puts them in a separate pot of boiling water and they become mush. <sighs> and then adds the cheese sauce and carries on from there. Max wants to do that, that's what we're going to. We're gonna up the game a bit. We're gonna use the Kraft Deluxe, which is better than the powdered one that she used. We're gonna add hot dogs because who doesn't love hot dogs with macaroni and cheese? If you don't, then none of us like you. Right, Chance? Right. Chance is a real proponent of hot dogs with mac and cheese. I love them. And we're gonna do a little panko crust thing on top after. Bake it in the oven. So, here's what we're starting with. Kraft Deluxe. Now, just so you don't think that, look, there is a difference. The regular one in the tall skinny box has powder cheese. This has squeezy cheese, so you know it's got to be better. Boiling water, in goes the mac, and then we start from there, shall we? As with any pasta product, you stir once it goes in, because if you don't, it's going to clump. And you'll end up with one giant ass noodle instead of a whole bunch of small ones. And in the pan to its left, we put the hot dogs. <laughs> Cut up. Love them. And just a little sploosh of oil just to get them going a bit. Look, of course they're already cooked, and you don't have to do this, but doing this is going to give them some color, some brown, crisp, just make them infinitely better than they would be by themselves. I'm going back and forth between pots. And now, the Cheetos. This small pot in front. It was pretty unclear what the water to Cheeto ratio was in the TikTok video, so we're guessing. Good Lord. Give it a chance. And now this. Oh God, look at the water already. So now over the next few minutes, that is gonna <laughs> become a bright red slash orange sludge. So just manage your pots and pans now. Color starting to appear on the dogs. Macaroni's just cooking away. And the sludge is, well, definitely getting there. I don't know how thick it's supposed to be, but it is becoming just straight, soft, hooky color. All right, we're guessing, but we think we need more Cheetos. Maybe I just used too much water. It was just very hard to know. This little pan of dogs is making me very happy though. Might as well eat one while I'm here. Mm. And one more thing we need to be doing while this is all happening because we need one more pot on the stove. What is that one thing that doesn't seem to be breaking down that's an odd color one? Should we keep it in? Sure. What the hell? What's the worst that can happen? We all go blind? So I've got some butter in this little pot. Let's just make ourselves some room here. There you go, buddy. There you go, there you go. Now the butter is gonna be for our panko breadcrumbs. It's gonna help make a crunchy coating for the top when we bake it. Because, oh yeah, we're baking it. We're making it better. It's like some of these aren't breaking down, it seems. Okay, that is like bubbling lava. All right, these guys are beautiful. Let me take them off. My pasta is ready. I'll take it off and drain it. Okay, next, panko. Goes in to the butter and the butter is gonna help the panko get a better tasting and B, brown up beautifully on top of the mac. So this is done. And the only thing left to do is add the cheese sauce to our flaming hot molten lava Cheeto nonsense. And that will look like this. <laughs> oh. God bless America. No wonder we're the most overweight country in the world. And we mix. Oh boy. This is just ridiculous nonsense. Okay. And there we are. Drained. Now we gotta add this stuff. I just don't know how much to add. So let's add the hot dogs first, shall we? Dear world, I apologize for what is happening here. Hey, there's two things I want you to notice. Watch this. 
Look at a little bit of unmixed cheese sauce. See that? There's a little river of unmixed cheese sauce. Lovely, huh? Nice. But more important, remember that one weird... <laughs> Ditch it. I don't think it's... It didn't break down. It's freaking me out, man. All right, now let's start adding this. So, this is wrong. No good will ever come out of this episode. And... Oh, we mix. Oh, for God's sake. I don't have any grandparents anymore, but I feel the need to apologize to them for what's happening here. Okay, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can put any more in. Wow. <laughs> it's like... Uh, anybody remember the movie Oliver? The kid just ate gruel. Oh, is that please, sir? Can I have some more? Please, sir, can I have some more? <laughs> this is like if movie Oliver was shot in the times of Mad Max. All right, let's put it in our container, shall we? And at the very least, this has got to be funny looking going in here. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Looks pretty fucking awesome. Is that what you call awesome? This is awesome? Let's just center some of these. And now you remember what we made. What do we make? Some panko? Thank you, Chance. Max was sleeping. Okay, here's my idea. First, we get this layer of panko that looks like this. I'll be honest, right now, it looks like rhubarb pie. It does a little bit. A little bit? And I think we're, we're pretty good in there. What do you think? Yeah. We'll just give it a couple of these guys. Because, I don't know why, but somehow that seems right. And uh, we'll throw it in the oven, 350, and see what happens. And here... I can't do it. There, there it is. By the way, if you're just tuning in, we've made... Um, by the way, if you're just tuning in, we've made... Uh, bl uh, fuck. And by the way, if you're just tuning in, you're looking at strawberry and rhubarb pie. It does look a little bit like it. No, it looks a thousand percent like it. I bet you you could show a hundred people that, and I'd, I'd say 75 would call it rhubarb strawberry pie. I'm afraid of what's next. I know you're going to want me to have a bite of this, aren't you? Of course. Glad you're so confident. Is that a better side for it? Does it have a good side? How about that? Right, this is hot. Let's do it. Well, the panko smells good, I can tell you that much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. There's hot dogs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bright red hot dogs. All right, so I'm going in right here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, good lord. It's nuclear red. Better get some of everything. You don't want to leave anything out. It's going to be outstanding. I wanted to hate this so much. I just had another bite. Involuntarily. I'm still eating it. Look at this. It's, it's... It's... It's really pink and red and whatever. Is that pink or is it red? It's somewhere in the middle. What do you get when you mix orange and red? Pink. Yeah, so there you go. It's time. All right. That's easy for you to say. Moment of truth. Cheers. I don't hate the smell, I'll be honest. There's the heat. Damn it. I wanted to hate this so much. And the hot dogs make it even better. I'm not saying it's the best Mac I've ever had. It's absolutely not the worst Mac I've ever had. It's pretty good. I just had another bite. Involuntarily, I think. I was hoping it would have sucked because I told Max if it really sucked, he would never again be able to suggest anything nonsensical like this. It's spicy hot dog mac and cheese. Shit. It's not bad. It's actually not bad. The boys are camera shy, so we'll post their first comments below the video. You may have already seen them.
you'll say, Max said, Chance said. And I'll rate it on a scale of 1 to 10. I'm giving it, I can't believe I'm saying this, a 7. And a fairly strong 7 at that. It just looks fucked up. But, if you got kids, pull this up one day. Mind blown. All right, thanks for hanging. I'm still standing here eating this. I know, you can't stop. It's the weirdest thing. Thanks for hanging out with us. I think this is worthy of a subscribe. Hell yes, yeah. boys? Definitely. Definitely. They said it. You don't have to listen to me. They're the real ones back there, working hard. Or hardly working. You make your mind up. I can't tell sometimes. But thanks for being here. And uh, when's this airing? Nobody knows. We'll see you the next time. Bye. I'm still eating it. That was a big bite. Okay, honestly, it's worth making just for the shock on your friends' faces. And I'm telling you, don't tell them what's coming out of the oven. You show them that, and then tell them that it's a strawberry rhubarb pie until they start to eat it. That'll be funny.